Hi everyone, today we're going to be creating a demonstration about the states of matter, solids, liquids, and gases. And we're going to be using Scratch for this demonstration. And hey, if you're new to Scratch or you need a refresher on coding, you might want to check out my YouTube channel at Pekka Radio, and I suggest that you subscribe because we'll be um, uploading videos weekly and monthly. And here you can learn all about how to code with Scratch. Anyways, we're going to start a project. I'm going to go to Scratch. I'm going to click the Create button because we're going to be creating something brand new today. If a tutorial happens to pop up, you can exit the tutorial because I'm doing a tutorial today. And you can also get rid of the cat. So I'm going to click on the garbage can right there and say goodbye to the cat. And what we're going to do is we're going to need to draw a water molecule because we're going to be talking about the states of matter for water, uh, liquid, solid, and gas for water. But first thing we need to do is to draw a water molecule. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on the paintbrush because we have to draw a water molecule. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to grab the color red because we're going to make it red, the uh, the oxygen part of the molecule. I'm going to click on the circle because I'm going to make a perfect circle right here. There's the oxygen part of a water molecule. Now I'm going to choose a different color, uh, maybe a bluer or a whiter. You can choose whatever colors you like like that perfect and I'm going to draw two small hydrogen uh, atoms right there because water is oxygen and hydrogen so there's one and I'm going to draw a second one right there good I'm just going to move it over just a touch so it's kind of symmetrical great and now I'm going to do some writing so I'm going to write inside of these um, atoms so you know what they are so I'm going to write a letter O right there a large one that stands for oxygen I'm just going to make it a bit bigger Grab it, put it right there. There's the oxygen. And I'm going to write two small H's. So H right there for hydrogen. That's going to make that a bit bigger. And I'm going to write an H right there for hydrogen right there. Make that a little bit bigger. So there is my water molecule. One oxygen and two hydrogen. And that's why it's called H2O. So now I've drawn my water molecule. Now we're going to start coding our water molecule so that we can see it in its different states. And first we're going to start with the solid state. But first I'm going to make this a bit smaller. It's awfully big, this molecule. Instead of 100%, I'm going to try maybe 30%. Yeah, that's good. A nice small water molecule because we're going to have a whole bunch of them later. So now let's code it for the solid state. So I'm going to go get a background to show it in its solid state. So a background would be something frozen. And there's a few different frozen ones. I like the slopes one. So everything is frozen there, including the water molecule. So it's going to be frozen. But as you know, even a frozen water molecule moves just a little bit, even though you can't see it. It's at a microscopic level. So watch how I'm going to code this one. When the letter uh, S is pressed, because we're going to show it in its solid state. When the letter S is pressed, so not space bar, I'm going to go all the way down to S. When you press the S key, it's going to move just a little bit. Move, not even 10 steps, move three steps. And then it's going to wait maybe 0 0.2 uh, seconds, just a little bit, wait a little bit. So 0 0.2. Now we're going to wait again uh, and move three more steps. Negative three, so it goes back and forth and back and forth. And now I'm going to do the wait 0 0.2. Thank you for your patience. And we're going to do this maybe, uh, let's say, 10 times. So now look, when the S key is pressed, it's going to move back and forth just a little bit, just like a real solid water molecule might. So green flag, now I'm going to press the letter S. Perfect. You can see it's moving just a little bit. Now let's code it in its liquid state. So I'm going to go to a background that's underwater, a uh, liquidy backdrop. And there's a few to choose from. Um, the one I like is underwater right there. So there's the underwater scene. So now we're going to code it so when the L key is pressed for liquid, it's going to move like it would in real underwater. So I'm going to go over here, grab the space key. When the L is pressed, L for liquid right there. I want it to glide around to random spots. I'm in the motion. Glide, not for one second. In the liquid form, it moves kind of slowly. So I'm going to say uh, for f six seconds. And I'm going to have that do that maybe three or four times, not too many times, maybe three. 
Okay, so let's test this already. When the L key is pressed, it should glide slowly to a random spot. So green flag and L. It's slowly gliding just like a real water molecule might all around the place in its liquid form. Now let's coat it in its uh, gas form. And in a gas form, it moves much further, much faster. So watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop right there. I'm going to go get an outdoor scene um, somewhere outdoors. And you know what? I'm going to choose blue sky. You can choose whatever one you want. I'm going to choose blue sky. So now I'm going to coat it so that when it's in the gas form, it moves much quicker and much further. So I'm going to go get... Um, when the space key is pressed and I'm going to change it to say um, gas so letter G when the G is pressed for gas it's going to glide much quicker and much further so motion glide to random spots I'm going to say two seconds like that and it's going to do this three or four times as well so I'm going to put a repeat three times around it you can decide what works best for you um, there we go. So green flag and now the letter G. Ready? Here we go. It's moving a bit faster. Yeah, see there it's moving a lot faster now. Wonderful. Okay, so that's perfect. Um, one little glitch though. When I press the S, it's still this backdrop. I want the Arctic backdrop, the frozen backdrop, remember? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to code the backdrop. So when the S key is pressed, we go to the winter scene. So I'm going to go to the looks button. I'm going to get backdrops, switch the backdrop, and I'm going to put it right there before the repeat. So, when the L is pressed, I'm sorry, when the S is pressed for solid, switch to the slopes. That was a winter one. Now I'm going to do the L. When the L key is pressed, I'm going to go get the backdrop. We're going to switch to the underwater scene, underwater one. And when the G is pressed, we're going to switch to the um, outdoor scene. It was called blue sky. Blue sky. Perfect. Let's test this out. Ready? Green flag. And I'm going to press the um, S for solid. Nice. we got the winter background. It's moving back and forth just a little bit like it would if it was a, an ice molecule, a uh, frozen water molecule. Now I'm going to press the L for liquid. Wonderful. We're underwater and it's moving around slowly. It's going to take a second. Come on. As soon as he's done here, I'm going to press G for gas, and it's going to be the outdoor scene. He should be moving a little bit faster. Okay, now I'll press the letter G. Okay, there we go. He's moving a little bit faster. There, he's moving a little bit faster. You can even make this quicker, so glide for one second if you want. One problem, when we do press the green flag, I want to start in the S, in the solid. So look what I'm going to do. I'm going to go get a green flag. Um, when the green flag is clicked... Switch to the bra backdrop S, uh, slopes, backdrop. Switch to the backdrop slopes. And I want the um, molecule, the water molecule, to go to a random spot. And you're going to see why in a minute. So when the green flag is clicked, let's go to the slope scene and then go to a random place. Go to a random spot right there. Go to random position. So when a green flag is click clicked, Go to the slopes and go to a random position. Let's see if he goes to a random position. Perfect, right there. I'm going to test it again. Yep, random. He's going always to a random position whenever I press that green flag. Now that we've got the water molecule going to a random spot, and it's working nicely for the letters S, L, and G, what I want to do is to have more molecules, not just one. So rather than coding all this again, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my mouse pointer. I'm going to put it on the water molecule sprite. Don't click the garbage can, though, but right there. I'm going to put two fingers in a touchpad and duplicate it. Now I'm going to duplicate it again and duplicate it again. And I'm going to duplicate it a whole bunch of times. You have to decide how many is right for you. I'm going to do a few more, maybe all the way up to 10. And um, then we can have a whole bunch of molecules moving around. It's going to be a great effect. It's going to look really nice. So let's see. Great. You can put more if you want. So green flag. They're all random. I'm going to press the letter uh, uh, S for solid. Good. There, there, there they are in a frozen state. I'm going to press the L for liquid. Oh, that looks really good. I like that. This is going to take a few seconds. 
Okay, looks good. And then I'm going to press G for gas. And let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks really good. Perfect. The last thing we need to do is we need to go to our backdrops and write down something on the backdrop. So look, I'm over here in the backdrops. I'm going to click over there. We have many different backdrops. So here is the slopes one. I'm going to write on here solid. So I'm going to get the letter T. I'm going to get a nice color. You have to choose what color works best for you. Um, I don't know, maybe a red. Looks good. No, maybe a blue. You have to decide what works best for you. T. I'm going to write, I'm going to write solid somewhere on here. So maybe right there. Solid. Good. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and then move it around. And you can even change the font if you want to. I like that. So there's solid. So now when it's in the solid state, it'll say the word solid. I'm going to go to the underwater scene. I'm going to get a color of a text that looks really good. Maybe uh, yellow will look good on this one. And I'm going to write down liquid somewhere on here. Like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it. So now we've got a liquid state right there. Okay, and I'm going to go to the final one, a blue sky. And I'm going to get a color that works well with blue sky. This time it's going to be a nice red. And I'm going to write down the word gas somewhere else. Like that. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. So that looks good. So let's test it one more time. Green flag. It goes to the solid. I'm going to press uh, S for solid. It's moving a little bit. We know it's a solid state. I'm going to press L for liquid. It says liquid. It's moving in a liquid fashion in a state of uh, water. And then finally, G for gas as soon as it's done here. Gas is moving much faster. All right. Well, I think we're done our project on states of matter. If you get stuck, please, please look at my code. And I'm looking forward to seeing you at the next activity. I hope you like this one. Thank you.